Forgebox module of the week and the writer of the module is actually in the chat today. So David Levin has uh, produced this little module and it's called WebP. Do you know what WebP is? Uh, I know it's a Google image format. I believe it's, um, you know, a bit more, I don't think it compresses the right word, but it's smaller at the same levels of, um, of fidelity. So, yeah. So this uh, module that he created is a Cobos module that helps provide a simple API for converting images to WebP format. And it can be used to convert WebP images into other formats. So it does use those um, binaries, like you said, from Google. Um, but yeah, so it's offering superior lossless and lossy compressions for images on the web. Google encourages it um, part of their core web vitals initiative. 23, sorry, 25 to 35% smaller than the JPEG or PNG counterparts. So faster page huh? loads and reduced bandwidth. So it's compatible with all major browsers. Um, Lucy image extension now supports it, but Adobe Core Fusion does not. There's an open ticket. So if you guys can go vote for that, uh, help get that supported in Adobe Core Fusion. Um, but so this... now that support would be for using it with like all the image tags, right? Yeah, like read, read image. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Exactly. So because you can use this library to interact with all the images and your browser is going to display them. So you don't have to have support in Adobe Core Fusion to use WebP. No, this module does that for you. And that's why right. he's using it. That's why he built it. So, yeah. So, yep. And if we look down here, um, WebP can give a command path, the binaries, and then the property, the source and destination. So pretty simple uh, methods here. Ah, I wonder what other info it has in there, but very cool. So, yeah, that would be a very handy one for sure. I know that all these different image formats coming out are kind of annoying if you don't have support for them, but WebP is a good one if it's going to be that much smaller. I didn't know that. That's the only downside of using old programs that Adobe killed, like Fireworks. They don't have all the exports you can do for <laughs> your image formats. But uh, but cool. He's got a lot of good stuff in here. So very, very cool. So thank you, David, for that one. And we learned a little bit more about WebP today. So very cool. So did I actually put the link in? No, I didn't. Let me copy that in. So go check it out on Forgebox. And uh, yeah, Bug David. And this looks like uh, James was talking about saying there's a self-serve open source image server to auto-serve WebP to browse to support it. That's cool. So he doesn't use them um, and see if or even host them. And I think a lot of people are using um, CDNs. Cloud, that it's a cloud Cloudinary? Cloudinary? Yeah. Yeah, Cloudinary allows you to do some pretty cool stuff, upload the image, and then you can tell it, hey, I want this image in this format, this size, and it'll give it to you. So right. you know, auto scale stuff. There's some sounds like, self... sounds like James's is a self-serve Cloudinary. Yeah. Which one was it? James, if you want to post the link to that again, I think you've told me before, but I've forgotten. And I've always wanted to, to get one of those servers up and running. That was our Forgebox module of the week, brought to you by Modernize or Die podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizeordie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel. 